So the Geek Speak show in out of the heat of San Diego, kind of. Uh, Jason Matthew Smith with us. Uh, how are you? I'm doing you, great. We heard you on the show er, earlier last week, and I told you it's the first one. We, you got the heat out there. We got the people out there. I know. Well, what's it's, your it's, first reaction to the uh, final that you're here? It's still craziness. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable uh, excitement. Everybody's so excited here. I see people like sprinting around. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? And they're just so excited. It's like Christmas for for nerds and geeks. You know, it's it's Christmas Day. Yeah. So. So in case one or two of you don't recognize them, look into the camera and say Cupcake. They'll know who it is. Come with me, Cupcake. <laughs> yeah, from Star Trek. Now, now let's, let's go back to the last night as we record this. We had the premiere here on preview night. You were there. How, how, was, how was that? Uh, the premiere last yeah. night? Oh, man. Unbelievable. It's that, it was such an epic experience. Everything from the red carpet. We had drones flying overhead. Yeah, I saw that. I, and we had people dressed up out front, and then you know this crazy, unbelievable set setup that they had with the outdoor IMAX, a 90-piece symphony with a full choir in back of the screen. Yeah, yeah it was singing. a San Diego symphony. That yeah, the it. San yeah. Diego symphony. Fireworks going off, lasers, smoke. It was. I, I think it. It, it was quite possibly the biggest premiere uh, yeah. ever in the history of premieres. Yeah, was the, on the show that you were on, I was talking to the San Diego organizers, and they, this is the first time that they do a premiere like that. Yeah. So they had to kind of, because it's Star Trek, they had to go all out. Right. Well, it's our 50th. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of a big birthday party in a way. Yeah. You know? now, now, it's going to be out in a few hours as, as we record this, so, but don't spoil anything yet. Yeah. But was that the first time you actually saw the complete film? It was. And, and just to tease it, there is a big shock about my character in the film. I can't say anything more, but you will probably see it and be shocked. So Yeah, because we kind of talked about it on the, on the other show. Is, is you have a bigger role, we'll just say that? Well, I, I, can't, I can't really <laughs> say anything about it, man. <laughs> Yeah, so so, so again, we we talked about it before, but but for the new audience, how how is that? How is that being part now of this of the Star Trek universe? It's wonderful. I, f I feel much more accepted, you know, uh, amongst the cast and You're everything. Part of the cool kids now. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, <laughs> I get to eat at the cool kids table. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we talked about it. You are you are a Star Trek fan before. That's you, right. You were on Star Trek, you, so, so it's kind it's kind of like with uh with with JJ when when he got to direct Star Wars, it's like. Cool. This is the stuff I, I grew up with. So why not? Exactly. Same, same thing with you. Went from playing with toys and all that yeah. stuff to actually. Now being, you actually have a phaser. Yeah. And, and you have uh, people being the toys now. Yeah. You know? Maybe you want to answer this. Maybe you don't. Sure. Uh, a lot of actors they take, uh, we'll say, mementos from the set. Mementos. Did, did you do that? I no, I didn't. I wish you know, I, I think I might have taken. Wait, they didn't even give you the red shirt. From no, the first no, one? they wouldn't give me anything. The <laughs> Paramount, they're very stingy. I'm sure that all of my cool stuff is in some sort of a Raiders of the Lost Ark type catacomb in Paramount somewhere. It, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> exactly. But I, I did take a little insignia, I think. Uh, oh, the, the one emblem? of the insignias, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have that. Yeah, and and you're gonna keep that. You're not gonna like put oh, it on no, eBay or anything. No, that's just for me, man. No, yeah. no eBaying out there. Yeah. So, so you know, we we talked about it also on the show, but give us a, a few more stories about. You know, we we've all seen on on the Blu-rays the extras. I, I, it just seems like you guys are just having a ball the whole the whole time. Talk about some memories from doing Beyond. Um, well, well, there was one scene that I did with uh, Idris that was quite extensive. The whole uh, choreography and everything of it. And we had to do this scene literally like, I would say 68, 70 times in different setups. And there was a lot of action and a lot yeah. of uh, stuff involved there. And by the end of the day, I was just totally spent. I remember standing with uh, Idris in like, we, we shot this scene in like a 360 uh, green screen where the camera was rotating around yeah. us in a circle. And I was screaming for, you know, like 30 seconds at the top of my lungs. And at the end of the day, I was just totally hoarse. And Idris and I were like, just like Rocky and Apollo Creed, <laughs> just like, uh, you know, at the end of the day. So, yeah, it was amazing. But 
again, that that's what makes it worth what you do. It, uh, it's not a job. It, you know, how, how can you complain about doing something like that all day I'll, long? You will never hear me complain <laughs> about what I do. It's yeah. it's it's uh, an honor to be a part of such a as, uh, a famous his, historic and and well loved uh, franchise as Star Trek. Yeah. So that is coming out this weekend. Like I said. So besides Star Trek, where else can we see you? Well, uh, here at Comic Con, I'm do- <laughs> I'm doing signings and uh, pictures for three days. Oh yeah, here. you haven't done that yet. That's I haven't. That's where I'm you see the craziness. <laughs> it's coming. It's like a freight train barreling <laughs> down the tracks at me right now. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also doing uh, a film, a film, uh, indie film that my wife and I are producing, and she wrote it. Uh, romantic comedy that we're shooting in L.A. this fall, early spring, and then a. Uh, a action comedy that we're shooting in Morocco next summer, which will be fun. And I've got some other stuff that isn't quite ready to share yet, but it's on the on the uh, on the docket, so mm-hmm. to speak. Now, I think it was J.J. Abrams who said that Star Trek Four is confirmed. Now, I don't, maybe this is a spoiler or not, whether you survive this one or not. But have they asked you to come back for that one yet? Well, they haven't asked me yet, but hopefully that could happen maybe maybe not you know, yeah who knows you'll have to find out That's this weekend right. go see star trek beyond and where, where can we follow you on on twitter uh please follow me uh at star trek cupcake i'm owning it right now yeah it may change in the future but it's at star trek cupcake. you, you, got, you know you got to keep that yeah, i know man it's so it's such a weird name cupcake it's like yeah. an old school insult like two yeah. navy sailors hey cupcake you know that kind of thing yeah. but once wants to see who it is like oh oh it makes yeah. sense yeah i see why yeah so again jason thanks a lot thank continue you. enjoying your first san diego comic-con thank you